So I've got a strip of file folder and it is the size of my cover. So this is the front inside cover. And I want to make this pocket pretty much to cover as much as I can of the cover, but without being able to see it from the other side. So this is a folded piece. And I'm going to keep the fold, the pocket. So I'm just going to take my scissors and miter in. To make a flap there. And I'm going to add a flap along here and the top. So I'm just going to take the piece that I just cut off. And I'm going to make about a one inch wide piece. So I've just cut this one inch wide piece, which is going to go along here as another flap. So I'll cut that to size. And I'll just put a score line down the middle. is going to go on the back here and that will make the pocket so I'm just going to miter these corners and glue that right on there So I want to keep it so that this hinge is actually right on the edge there. And you can see that I put it on there folded. And I can just come in and gently push it down there, we'll get the glue adhered. And then I want to make a hinge also for the top that matches the, the flap down here, flap, hinge, whatever. So I'm going to use that off cut again. Just going to cut this down a little bit. So the hinge is what's going to be glued to the cover. Just miter those corners away. And there's another hinge. So these are the pieces that are going to actually be glued down to the inside of the cover to make the pocket. The fold is going right to the edge and so there's the pocket and on this side you'll see it's hinge one two and three so it'll glue down just i'm gonna let that dry for a few minutes so i've got some pieces here this is from a roll of burlap that i got from i think the dollar store i've got some strips of fabric that match the journal I have some lace from an old curtain that I put a little bit of coffee dyeing on and just another strip of fabric. I'm just going to overlay these like that so that that's the height and width of the pocket. And what I've been doing is sort of making 
the snippet part of it, I've made this ruffle. And I'll just quickly show you how I do that. So this is a piece of paper, one of the off cuts. And with my fabric, I just come in and make a little fold there and just continue with a little fold. And then I can take this to my sewing machine and do a straight stitch down here. And I just kind of want to add something uh, underneath the stitching. So I'm going to put a little piece of this ribbon I think I got this ribbon at Michael's. I'm just gonna add that little feature there, like, so the zigzag stitch goes across there, just adds a little element, or you could add, I don't wanna use too much lace, you know, because this is kind of a botanical nature, but that could look really nice with the stitching on top too. So I'll just lay that down, sort of line it up to the middle. Then I will use my zigzag stitch right on top of that. And that kind of, you know, it's not supposed to be perfect, but it kind of does help guide you a little bit as well. Okay, let me stitch that and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm just checking in with a couple of things that I've done. I have taken those three strips and basically what I did was zigzag stitch down this piece that joins these two pieces. And then when I got to the bottom, I just came around and did a straight stitch all around. And I included this tab that I just made from a scrap of paper. And then I put this ruffle on and then to secure the ruffle without gluing it, I put these little leaves on. I think I got these at the dollar store. And to sew them, I just started the base so to the end of the leaf there, turn it around and sew back again the line I just stitched and do that a couple of times so it kind of makes a look like it's got the veins along the veins of the leaf. And so I did one over here too and then I put this little tag on top and a little piece of the, the coordinating paper and uh, stitch that on. So I'm trying to sort of stitch down as much as I can. And I've made these little clusters and I've shown you how I made these before. I just start with a piece of the coordinating paper and then I just layer on little pieces of scraps. And I had some pieces of burlap that I cut off and I do some string. I keep all my off cuts of my string and I just loop those around and stitch those down onto the piece of paper. And then I can just glue those right on. So I haven't decided quite yet where I'm going to glue that. Maybe even towards the uh, the tab there so the tab doesn't show or to secure this ruffle. Or I could even put them in two different places. But I'll figure that out. And when you're sewing just make sure that you keep the flaps out of the way of the stitching and then on the back here I have this piece of cardstock cut exactly to the size that fits within the back here and I'm going to glue that down so that when you're putting stuff in the pocket it doesn't get stuck on that stitching so that will be the next step and then it's ready to glue the three sides there on the flaps and secure it right onto my cover, allowing for some background paper here, which is not the full width, but it doesn't need to be. And you'll see how that's going to look there. Then things can easily slide in and out there. And this part of the cover will be covered with some fabric like this and then that can be glued or sewn down and that will be the front inside pocket of the cover with a little bit more embellishing to do but it looks pretty good right now hope you enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching take care